Lesson 2 homework. Number 1. Show each expression on a number line. Solve. So we're working with ninths. I'm going to draw my number line. And I'll start with 0 ninths and with 9 ninths or 1. So we'll have 1 ninth, 2 ninths, 3 ninths, 4 ninths, 5 ninths, 6 ninths, 7 ninths, 8 ninths, and we have 9 ninths. So we start with nothing, and we then have 4 ninths plus 1 ninth. One more gets us 5 ninths. B, 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So we have zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, or one, five fourths. So we start at zero, and we have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go one fourth, another fourth, another fourth, and another fourth gets us to four fourths, but four fourths is equal to 1. So either answer will work. 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. Start with 0 sevenths, 1 seventh, start at zero sevenths and first we have two sevenths and then we add another two sevenths and another two sevenths will get us to six sevenths okay D two times three fifths plus one fifth I'm just going to start with zero fifths. And I'm just going to keep going until I'm at the end of the number line. And we can extend the number line if we need to. Okay. So. First, we have 2 times 3 fifths. So I have two groups of 3 fifths. I'm going to go one group of two, 3 fifths, and then another group of 3 fifths. And then I'm going to add the 1 fifth at the end, which gets us to 7 fifths. Number 2, express each fraction as the sum of two or three equal fractional parts. Rewrite each as a multiplication equation. Show part A on number line. So there's many different answers for all of these. So if you get a different answer than me, it very well might also be correct. So the first one, it wants us to show it on a number line. Let's think about how we could break up 6 11 So it's basically what plus what equals 6. So I'm just going to say... 3 elevenths plus 3 elevenths is equal to 6 elevenths. And if we show that on a number line, we if we did 3 elevenths plus another 3 elevenths, we get to 6 elevenths. And it also wants us to write, rewrite each as a multiplication equation. So 3 elevenths plus 3 elevenths is the same as saying 2 times 3 elevenths. B, 9 fourths. So since it wants us to rewrite as a multiplication equation, I'm going to think of 
what I can multiply and get nine. So I'm thinking three times three. So we could do as our addition, it would be three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths is equal to nine fourths. And multiplication, we would have three groups of three fourths is equal to nine fourths. 12 eighths. So again, thinking of something I can multiply, and I'll do three times four is 12. So I'll do, let's see, we could do three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths is equal to 12 eighths. Or our multiplication equation, we have four groups of three eighths which is 12 eighths, 27 tenths. So I'm gonna do nine times three. We have nine tenths plus nine tenths plus nine tenths is equal to 27 tenths, or three groups of nine tenths is equal to 27 tenths. So again, you could have different answers in these, but there are many different answers that are all correct. Number three, express each of the following as the sum of a whole number and a fraction. Show part C and D on number lines. So the sum of a whole number and a fraction, meaning we need to make these improper fractions into mixed numbers. With nine fifths, what I see is we can take out 5 fifths, because 5 fifths is equal to one whole. So if I take out 5 fifths and do 9 fifths minus 5 fifths, then I get 4 fifths left over. So I have one whole, because I took that out, the 5 fifths, and 4 fifths left over. So it's equal to 1 and 4 fifths. 7 halves. Um, so we just need to see how many two halves we have before we go over seven. We can also think of it as a division problem. What, how many times can two go into seven? So if we have two halves plus two halves, that's four halves, plus two halves, that would be six halves. Another one would be eight halves, which would be too big. So this is basically saying one plus one plus one, which is equal to three. And then we would need one more half, not two halves, just one more, one half would get us to the seven halves. C, 25 sevenths. So basically seeing how many times can seven go into 25. So seven times one is seven, seven times two is 14, seven times three is 21, seven times four is 28. So it can only go in three times before it's too large. So that is 21 sevenths. And then we would need four more sevenths to get to 25 sevenths. So we have one plus one plus one plus four sevenths is equal to three and four Sevenths. Now this one we need to show on a number line, so I'm going to do zero sevenths, and seven sevenths, fourteen sevenths, twenty-one sevenths, twenty-eight sevenths, and then I'll break this one up a little bit into sevenths. So we have seven sevenths, 14 sevenths, 21 sevenths, and then we moved it and added four more sevenths to get to 25 sevenths. D, 21 ninths. So we have nine ninths plus nine ninths. That will give us 18 ninths. We can't go any bigger because then we'll be greater than 21, but 18 plus three more ninths would give us 21 ninths. 
So this is 1 plus 1 plus 3 ninths is equal to 2 and 3 ninths. If we, you could also think of it as 2 and 1 third if you reduce that. So drawn on our number line, we would have 0 ninths, 9 ninths, 18 ninths, 27 ninths, and then I'll break this up into the ninths. And we at, so we started at 0. We had 9 ninths, 18 ninths, and then we added the extra 3 ninths to get to 21. So 1, 2, 3. Right there is 21 ninths. Number 4. Natalie sawed 5 boards of equal length to make a stool. She, each was 9 tenths of a meter long. What is the total length of the boards she sawed? Express your answer as the sum of a whole number and the remaining fractional units. So a mixed number. So we're basically doing five boards and each was nine tenths. So five times nine tenths, or we could look at it as nine tenths plus nine tenths plus nine tenths plus nine tenths plus nine tenths. Plus nine tenths. So Our number line let's figure out first what the answer is and then it'll be easier to draw it on our number line so if we add 9 5 different times we'll get 45 tenths and 45 tenths if we broke that 10 can go into 45 so if we take out 10 tenths plus 10 tenths that 20 tenths, 30 tenths, 40 tenths, plus the 5 tenths left over. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 5 tenths would give us 4 and 5 tenths. So there's our answer. Now we just need to get it on the number line. So I'm going to make 9 tenths here. And then we added, that would be 18 tenths. And then plus another 9 would be 27 tenths. Plus another 9 tenths, that got us to 36 tenths. And another 9 tenths got us to 45 tenths. So we started here. Add 9 tenths, and another 9 tenths, and another 9 tenths, and the last one, 45 tenths.